Hey guys, it is officially the day I moved to Oxford. I am heading over to my dad's house right now to drop off my car. It's the last time I'm gonna be driving for a couple months. And I have my flight today out of SFO to London Heathrow. And I'm so excited. My car is all packed and I'm ready to go. I am a little nervous, but I'm also really excited. I've been waiting for this for months and I have been working for this for years. So it's finally coming down to it and I finally get to go and I'm so excited. So I'm heading off to the airport and I will check in in a little bit. Um, I hope you guys are as excited as I am. I made it through security. I'm now waiting to get a juice and I have a call in about five minutes with somebody from a graduate program that I wanted to talk to and um, get some more information about the program. And I'm just sitting here with my computer. And after the call, I'm going to just call friends and family in the meantime and go pick up some food for the flight. I have a little bit. I think I don't have to board for another like hour and a half. So I've got some time. Um, but I'm gonna pick up plenty of snacks and food for the flight because it's gonna be a long one. Uh, but yeah, I say goodbye to my family, which is kind of sad, but I'm really excited. Like, I can't believe it's finally happening. Um, but I'm gonna go because I have to go pick up my juice in a minute and prepare for my call. in London. I'm heading to Oxford. I'm trying to find the train or the bus to get me there and that is the update. Okay, I made it to Oxford. I have made it into my room here at Somerville. Oh my god, I just walked up so many flights of stairs. Um, I need to catch my breath, but I checked in, I'm in my room, and here I am. I still have to go get everything from the Porter's Lodge, like my bedding, but I made it, and I'll tell you guys a little bit about getting here. So I landed at Heathrow, I took the bus to London, I didn't know where I should get off to stop because I didn't have a clear idea. So I just got off at one of the stops that was closest to a college, asked the college porters to help me get a taxi, and then I got to Somerville and they helped me check in. And now I'm in my room, which is a quick little sneak peek. I'm going to decorate it and then I'll, get, I'll do an actual dorm tour. But I'm so so out of breath. But right now, my plan is that I just wanna kind of unpack and get situated, and then I have to head back to London later this afternoon. And I do kinda wanna go exploring a little bit. So I'm going to like sit down for a minute because I'm exhausted. Um, just walked up a million flights of stairs. But my bags and I are here. We made it to Oxford, and now, I need to rest for a little bit and then figure out what to do next. So I will check in once I kind of have a better idea of what I should be doing. Okay, everything is put away. I finally have my bag packed for my trip. I have it right down here. Uh, so I have everything that I need and a little bit of room in case I do some shopping. And I just want to give you guys a quick overview because I don't have everything in here yet. I will do a full accommodation tour once the time comes and I actually have everything set up. But I wanted to show you what it looks like right now. So I just have my coat that I'm going to wear to London. I have some rain boots. 
I usually take way more books with me to school, but unfortunately moving across the ocean, not quite as feasible as when I was driving down to LA. Um, scarf, and then I have my own sink in my room, which is nice. Um, so I just have some things that I'm not gonna bring with me for the trip. And then here's my closet. It's actually quite spacious. I obviously need to get more hangers. I have all my shoes up there. They supplied me with a little space heater. I have my desk here with my Supplied by Lily notebooks for the year. My day designer I'm going to leave here and I have my smaller Supplied by Lily notebooks or planners in my bag. And then I have my suitcase for the trip, bedside table, my phone is charging. I have my bed, which has just the bedding that they supplied. I do need to go down to the Porter's Lodge and get other pieces. And then I have my luggage uh, empty now and then I have my drawers and only one of them is full right now and then I have my umbrella so overall very pleased with the fact that I managed to get that done and I am starving so I'm gonna go out and go exploring and go find some food and then if I have time to go get the stuff from the porter's lodge and bring it into my room then I will do that and if I don't then it's not that big of a deal. I'm gonna be here next Saturday and I'll have plenty of time to load everything in. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, head into town and explore all the rest of the clips I'm gonna get with my phone cause I don't wanna walk around with a camera. Um, and also because I'm carrying this um, wallet, this uh, passport wallet and it does not fit my camera. So I don't wanna carry my backpack. So that's my current excuse, but I'm going to use my phone to get some clips and go exploring. All right, so I just had to climb the stairs again. One of the porters was really helpful and helped me bring my boxes up the stairs. Um, so now I'm just gonna unpack everything. Um, I went and walked around town, picked up some food, and um, this place is huge. I was at Cambridge last summer, and it was pretty easy to get the lay of the land there. I felt like it went by pretty quickly, um, but trying to map out this place is something else. But I saw the um, Radcliffe camera and Brasno's College and all around town. So I bought this bag for my laundry. Um, and then let's see what else we've got. I will say being in a foreign place, like I've not done very much solo traveling. Even when I was at Cambridge, I, within the first day, met up with people. And my friend Zach was also in the program with me. Um, so this is my first time like really feeling alone. Like, the only people I've talked to were the porters. Um, so that's just a little strange. Now I'm just gonna quickly make up my bed and then I'm gonna head over to the bus station to catch a bus back to London. Okay, so my bed is all set up. I need to finish, Just I just need to close up my suitcase so I can get going. Um, my desk is all set up. Need to finish my closet, but everything is looking pretty good. All right, so it's time to head to London and I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog because I'm going to do a travel vlog while I'm in London and I just wanna put out a bunch of content these next couple weeks for you guys. So I'm gonna to try to keep the videos a little shorter. The travel videos are actually gonna be a little bit longer just because some of them are going to be multiple days, um, but they may also be broken into portions just depending on how they look when I'm editing. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up if you are excited to join me on this journey to Oxford. If you are going to Oxford, if you are heading off to school, if you have started school, leave me a comment down below. I really appreciate you guys interacting with me and being so excited about this journey. I have been waiting for this for a long time and I'm just excited to get going and I'm excited to see what happens this next year and after that. So I'm going to be videoing as much as possible. I've been trying to be a lot better about getting more clips and be a little bit more comfortable in front of the camera so I can hopefully get more content out for you guys but I'm gonna go ahead and head to catch my bus and get to London. See you in a bit.